well within five years, and more people than ever struggle with debt. Intuit is here to change this story with giant solutions like TurboTax, QuickBooks, and Mint that give everyone the power to prosper. Intuit, proud makers of TurboTax, QuickBooks, and Mint. Someone in this family isn't going to survive. We're having some trouble keeping it down. Get ready for Medea's last movie ever. Oh, really? Amen. A Medea family funeral. Rated PG-13. Friday. Charmin Ultra Soft. It's softer than ever. Charmin Ultra Soft is softer than ever, so it's harder to resist. Okay, this is getting a little weird. Enjoy the go with Charmin. One for baby. Two for baby. Carrots on those spoons for baby. Grown and better soil for baby. Monks the strictest standards in the world for baby. Means nothing but the best for baby. Gerber, anything for baby. Where the action is. Stay at a Universal Hotel with three epic theme parks outside your door. Book right now and get two days free at the parks. Starbucks Plus Coffee is the coffee you love. Plus, twice the go. Twice the keep going. And twice the caffeine to take on your day. Starbucks Plus Coffee. This is why you do it. The big smiles those little surprises can bring. Kinder Joy is a simple way to add surprise to your kid's day. Now with over 50 new toys to build. Kinder Joy, a little surprise goes a long way. I'm Leanne Ford, and this is my brother Steve. He likes to demo, I like to decorate. All new, restored by the Fords. March 19th at 9 on HGTV and the HGTV app. Lonnie, you giddy with anticipation? Yes, could you tell? I think she's ready for cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. So judges, Lonnie will make the final call. Mm -hmm. All right. But your expert opinions matter to her. I need your help. So feel All free right. to heckle those bakers. We're not short on opinions. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, Jennifer and Jessica. Tell us about your cake. We decided to do the iconic piano that's always on the stage, the famous brick wall with the improv sign, and then we had to throw in lights, give it a little something special. The cake is a dense, rich chocolate cake with a butterscotch pudding filling and Swiss meringue with an American buttercream kind of mixture with white chocolate. Love the lights. You know what I mean? An accessory makes an outfit, right? Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> and that accessory is bold and good. I like that the glass looks used. I really <laughs> do. <laughs> like, don't bother with a new glass barkeep. Like, just refill it, honey. It's great. I've left many a glasses and the <laughs> microphone on that piano at the Hollywood Improv. That is dead spot on what I do all the time. This shows the improv. I think it's great. Thank you. Thank you. I think the textures and the color and the tone that you have and the brickwork is great, but it should still be straight. Yeah. 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 Sides tight. Corners plumb, keys defined and not wavy. So those are the things that break my heart a little bit. Yeah. But the cake is nice and dense. It's got good flavor. It's baked well. The pudding is just that, though. It's pudding. If I had a bowl of that with a spoon, I'd be a happy girl. But as a cake filling, I think it's just missed its mark a little bit texturally. It's okay for me. <laughs> I like the flavor of the butterscotch, and I also like that it's not too sweet. I love the cake portion of this. I also like a dense cake. I think your layers are really uniform. Also, your building is nice. So there are pluses here. I would just say, keep the pudding in the bowl. Keep the pudding in the bowl. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cindy and Kim. We have a person. It's a man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, why don't you tell us who this is? 
This is Bud Friedman. He's the godfather of comedy. He started the improv. And this quote is actually a quote from him. Persevere if you believe in what you're doing and don't be afraid to improvise. Wow. The flavor is red velvet cake with a chocolate crunch and a cream cheese whip frosting. I like that you put in the elements of Bud and also the brick wall, with the improv. And I think that's great with the actual saying. But I wish that it would look more like Bud. You try, but I, I don't know if that's Bud or Michael from a county. <laughs> there are elements of this that I like. I like your chocolate work. I think that the head work is really, really nice. The detail that you got particularly on his right eye is awesome. You've made an experience that's edible, and that's really something to be super proud of. Thank you. Thank you. You know how to bake cake. I think Lonnie's kind of digging it. I like it. It's moist, not too sweet, so I like it. And I like the little crunch that you added to it. I think it's good. I'm glad you put the crunch in there, because if not, it's just soft, soft, soft. And I also like a cake that's not too sweet, and I think you nailed it. And this is an adult crowd. This would go great with a vodka. Yes! Right. <laughs> the cream cheese frosting is delicious. This cake is just really rich, really moist, great flavor. And this is the best red velvet cake I've ever tasted. Tasted, I have to say. It's really, really delicious. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good job. Well, and is it going to stay together? <laughs> we, we can fix that. We were doing so well with yeah. this. They love the flavor, and now they're watching him fall, fall apart. Thank you, ladies. Uh oh. That hand's going to drop. That's going. Oh my gosh, it came down That's really going. Walk well. faster. Get out of here before it falls. It looks like poor Bud is dying over here. On the season finale, the last two recruits are so close to victory. I cannot believe I made it this far. <laughs> so exciting! They can almost taste it. So I'm like trying to breathe. <gasps> Hashtag anxiety. <gasps> finale, Worst Cooks in America, Sunday night at 9 on Food Network and the Food Network app. One hour pickup order? Got it. We're out of ink and I have a big meeting today. And two boxes of Twizzlers? Yeah. For the team. The team? Go team. Order online, pick up in an hour. Get up to $200 off on PCs at your tech destination. Head Office Depot, Office Max. Oh, yeah, this counts as a sit-up. Oh, it's nice, but it's kind of pricey. Hi. Hi. You can't skimp on a decision this important. Just use Pay at Planet. Split large purchases up over time with American Express. Do you need help you carry this to your car? Or... Don't live life without it. Spam. Don't knock it till you've fried it. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. Prestige creams not living up to the hype. One jar shatters the competition. Olay Regenerist hydrates skin better than creams costing over $100, $200, and even $400. Fact check this ad in Good Housekeeping. Olay. Honey, time to go. Guess what? What? Coach said I get to play forward today. Wow. If I score a goal, I'm going to go like this. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> then I'm going to do something like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And oh, yeah. It's your turn to bring this smile. How many teammates do you have again? Frito-Lay Variety Packs. Packed with possibilities. I have no idea what's in Princess Toast, but thanks to this USP seal, I know exactly what's in my Nature Made gummies. Nature Made has the first gummies verified by USP, a nonprofit organization that sets purity and potency standards. <gasps> I invented Wonder Park and it came to life. We're alive? Ow! Your fault. Why is it with my fault? On March 15th, when the park is in danger, we need to fight back. A team this brave. Run! Ah, I surrender! Steve, you're embarrassing the team. May saving the day. Fire in the hole! A snap. Looks like we got your good side. Ow! Wonder Park in theaters March 15th. Rated PG. Breathe freely, fast, with Vic Sinex. My congestion's gone. I can breathe again! 
Oh, I can breathe again. Oh. Vic Sinus. Breathe on. The original idea for this commercial was to show you how these Warby Parker glasses were made. But we got held up on this beautiful shot of them getting hand polished. Our glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Try five pairs for free at WarbyParker.com. Thank you so much. New purple, eh, Deb? He's always wanted to try one. Well, they have a 100-night trial, so... Everyone wants to sleep better, and can. Purple makes it easy with free shipping and our 100-night trial. And for a limited time, choose a free Purple product with mattress purchase at purple.com slash TV. Finally, we have Christine and Aaron. Wow. Don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. All right, ladies, explain away. To celebrate 55 years at the Improv, we wanted to set the stage. We did the spotlight, we have the Improv logo, and then we have Robin Williams, Rainbow Suspenders. We have a cigar by George Burns. We have pearls for Joan Rivers, can we talk? Uh, Mike with his mic there to kind of celebrate, and he's got the Bud's monocle on there. So it's telling the story through all of the greats that have graced the stage and told their stories through the microphone. For you guys today, we did a chocolate salted caramel. Mm -hmm. And we went with the salted caramel because your experience with comedy is you want to laugh until you cry. So we pulled, you know, salty tears. Oh, we're going to do a salted caramel to incorporate it. <laughs> What's the buttercream? They're shortening, butter, vanilla extract. Lonnie, what are you thinking? I am <laughs> speechless. I mean, you got the people, the creativity. You even incorporated Bud. Isn't Freeman. that genius? This is awesome. Thank you so much. You can tell you put your soul in it. Mm -hmm. Pulling visuals from each of the comics that are so iconic shows artistry and creativity. Thank you. Yeah. The spotlight is just one of the most inspired things I've ever seen. And the shine on Mike's head, the texture work that you have there is gorgeous. Thank you. However, the fact that the elements from the comedians that have been there, they're not visible from afar, makes me a teeny bit sad. Okay. Yeah, the piano is leaning back. The scale of the legs to the piano itself, a little thick. So there's some proportion issues. The cake itself is very chocolatey, but I'm so not a fan of that buttercream. I'm sorry. I personally don't think there's ever a need to put shortening in frosting. I so agree with Kimberly's notes on that buttercream. The cake itself is a lovely cake. There's too much of it. It's a lot of cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. But it's chocolatey and it's good. It's just a lot of chocolate. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Lonnie, time to pick the winning cake. Let's talk about Cindy and Kim's cake. I love that they tried to make Bud. It didn't really look like him, though, but I really liked the red velvet. Jennifer and Jessica's cake. I like the concept. It could have been a little more chocolatey, but it was moist. Finally, Christine and Aaron. To me, that design was a legendary design, but I didn't like the taste of the cake. Lonnie, do you think you have a decision? I don't know. We support you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Bakers. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Lonnie Love asked you to make the cake for the world-famous Improv Comedy Club's 55th anniversary party. One cake can win. The bakers of the cake that will take the spotlight and the winner of $10,000 are... Christina and Aaron, congratulations! <laughs> Oh my gosh, just hearing <laughs> our names called that we won. This proves that we're the top of the top with what we do, and we have bragging rights for that, and we won 10 grand, so. It is seriously a dream come true for the both of us. Yep. Great Thank job. Thank you. So, I mean, that was just awesome. I just found the greatest cake to take to the crew so they can celebrate the 55th anniversary of the improv. This is the thing about the improv. We're all a big family, the crew and the comics. We've been doing this for a long time, and so I wanted to get a cake that would be special. I can't wait for everybody to see.